we have evolved with fear, with limitation. Intuition, instincts don't have limitation. They have wisdom. They have internal knowledge. For example, if you know that the waves are extremely big one day, but you want to go surfing because you want to push yourself, you want to feel that challenge, when you're paddling out, you can experience multiple different thoughts. You can listen to fear and you can listen to the fear running through your mind and you can listen to the thoughts. I'm not saying that fear won't exist because if you choose that exists, it will exist. It's as simple as this. Fear is a frequency band which as long as you seed it within your imagination, within your mind, it will become relevant to you. So if you're paddling out and you're going surfing and you start to welcome fear into your mind, most likely speaking, um, well, multiple different truths can occur, but it's not the point. What I'm saying is you may have fear, but you don't need to accept it. You can actually just choose to let it go because fear itself is limitation. Now, instinctively, when we're paddling out, but we feel that the waves are just maybe too big for us to handle, we're not ready for this. We can feel this truth. We don't need to say, oh, I'm not going to have fear, and then we get in, we get into trouble, we get into danger because we didn't listen to fear. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Is We can choose to not accept fear because ultimately look at our everyday lives. For most of us, most of us fear dictates our lives. We're fearful of achieving something greater for ourselves. We're, we're fearful that of failure. We're fearful for most things of going and just talking to someone we have fear. So we can understand that fear itself is actually limitation within the perception that it's actually serving us purpose. It's, it's a great illusion. It's delusion to an extent where it's actually convincing us that it's serving us. Because if something can can dilute our attention or dilute our existence to believing that it's actually serving us, we become slaves to its existence because we think it's serving us, therefore we let it into our existence for it ultimately to limit us from achieving something good for us. Fear does not need to be accepted within our daily lives because we have our intuition, we have our instincts, we're beings of, of intuitive value. We have the intuition, the instincts to help guide us within this journey that we call life. We don't need fear because fear would tell us, oh no, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's what fear would tell us. I can't do that. But once we start to push and start to not accept fear and push it away, we start to generate just what we need, which is our instincts, our intuition, which will ultimately best serve us because we can get closer to us. We, we can start to get closer to our true self, which is a frequency of experience. And we can start to allow experiences to happen without this dictatorship of the mind saying, I can't do that. We start to do things and we start to formulate what we need in our lives and all truthfully saying this is that what we need is our intuition and our instincts because they will help us in our journey and help us on our life to help guide us whether we're ready for certain things because for example if the waves are really big um, one day the mind would if we are lost within fear the mind would simply say we can't do that we can't achieve it it's very simply rationalizing it's it 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 lures us within its danger, like, oh, that could be that could be death, that could be failure. Now, a lot of the time we're convinced that fear is a good thing because it actually stops us from um, achieving this result, which could be death or failure. But existence truthfully will will vibrate at and resonate with us within a higher expression of of truth, and that is our intuition. So and our, uh, our ability to resonate with this intuition. So we thought fear is simply thought. Intuition is feeling. If we can feel, we'll wrap this up into a part three. Pow.